one of Sephora haul. <laughs> sort <Skincare>. of care <laughs> edition. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kiki and Coco and today we're going to be talking about some of like the stuff we've gotten from Sephora over the last like month. Yeah we got a lot and we haven't filmed it in a while so mm -hmm. we're going to have to break it up into a lot of parts. Yeah. Skincare. Um, so some of the stuff we got when we had the VIB Rouge sale and some we kind of purchased afterwards mm -hmm. but I like think you know Black Friday, Boxing Day yeah. sale, they all, they all have like different events for it. So. Yeah so I guess we'll just start off with something that I've already talked about so I don't want to talk about too much it's the Luna um, this this is the mini 2 and basically this time they came in a set for like $159 but mm -hmm. which is the price yeah, same which pricing is, as this yes yeah, which itself. is the price of this itself usually but because it's I guess their gift set edition so they've instead given us like two cleansers and one is for day and one is for night now I've tried both of them and they're kind of mediocre. Oh, I've seen like good reviews on Sephora from it, but I guess to each your own. <laughs> yeah, like, well, mm -hmm. I mean, like, it cleans well, but I don't, it's not like magical or like I'm not gonna repurchase it, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I mean by mediocre. So there's not much to say about these. Um, and to be honest, I don't know why there's a day and night even. Like, that's it true. feels similar. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we've talked about this already. If you're curious, I will link the video down below about the video where we talked about it. But this is amazing and it was such a good deal. Okay, so my other thing is kind of a restock and we've talked about this before as well. It's this Lancome uh, Gel Cream. Cream? It's like a gel cream cleanser, but there's yeah. nothing gel about it. It's just mm -hmm. like really cream. I mean, not much to say. It cleanses really well. It was in one of our empty products, so maybe we'll like link, that, link as, that well. as well. <laughs> Um, but um, this is great. Yeah, it's definitely been like one of my go-to's and I ran out so why not buy it on the sale? <laughs> Cleanse as well. See. Oh yeah, it lasts a long time too. Just literally a pea-sized amount would give you enough suds to like wash your face fully. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's, I've been using that cleanser for like the last like five years. Um, another one that we want to talk about that we both purchased is the Good Jeans Sunday Riley. Mm -hmm. And this, as you can tell, is the, the bigger size. Yeah, the <laughs> biggest size that they've ever come out with. And, and it's more worth your value, too. Yeah, for those of you who already watch our channel, um, you know that mm -hmm. I am personally obsessed with it. Like, I've gone through like three, four bottles of the regular size already. So, with the 20% off, I've decided to purchase like their jumbo size. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's still a lot because Sunday Rally is expensive, but this is definitely worth your value. It's, mm -hmm. it's probably the only value size product that Sunday Rally actually did come out with yeah. So, yeah I mean they do like gift sets but I don't even use some of the products in those gift sets so. and they're all mini size too so it's not yeah. really worth it like it's good if you want to try it out but so uh, we're not end, yeah we're not going to talk too much about this either because we've talked about it multiple times <laughs> but it is like you know lactic acid yeah. like helps reduce fine lines la di la di da we know what we like <laughs> mm -hmm. so this is kind of just restock almost mm -hmm. So next, um, it's kind of a last minute, last day of the sale, like, oh, I feel like I need, oh, dude, my stomach just growled. Really We're really hungry. hungry. <laughs> We're really hungry. Last day of the sale, I just wanted to get, like, buy it before I wouldn't be able to get it again. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Sephora sleeping mask. I got, like, so many different types. I got avocado, pearl, algae, orchid, and lotus. They all do different things. And I just love them. I love them more than traditional masks where you have to put it on and wait for 30 minutes because I'm lazy. I can just put it on and go to sleep. Just make sure your hair- Do you have to wash it after? Um, you, it's not recommended. You don't need to, but I mean, when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna wash your face anyways, but I love these. These feel moisturizing. They're like, they give you a radiant glow depending on what it is too. I know, for me, nighttime masks that I go to sleep with, they don't really work that great on me. Like I've tried like a giant variety mm -hmm. and they're a little bit like, too oily for me. Like these tends to have like, a little bit of oils in them, I think usually. And I, I don't think these ones. These are just like clear yeah. gels or like. No, I've had clear gel ones okay. too, and I kind of break out the next day because it's too oily and it just like clogs my pores or something. And so I personally prefer like sheet masks. But either way, these are five bucks, and with every one, I've never been able to use one just for one session. I probably break it up to five because you get a lot in it too. I can just take it up to you. Oh two. wow, really? Yeah. 
because like there's only so much oh, you could put on your face. That's true. So it's definitely worth it. I say it like it'd be like a dollar or less for per mask, like per use, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's very low maintenance if you're like me and you don't want to spend that much time. And sometimes. it's such a good travel thing to go with too. So another thing that I want to talk about is something that I've never used before. This is the for those I'm sure a lot of people know about this. The Claude Lee um, Beauty Elixir. It's extremely pricey. So I was kind of doubtful <laughs> when I got my hands on it. I was like, huh, maybe I should or shouldn't. But I thought, hey, why not give it a try? Yeah, might as well buy it when you're, it's on the mm -hmm. sale. Otherwise, just return it if you don't like it. <laughs> right? So this is their special edition Jason Wu one. Now, special edition meaning that it's there's nothing like an ingredient change. It's just the bottles changed because it's Jason Wu. Mm -hmm. um, so this <laughs> is like... Same pricing though. Yeah, same yeah. price. And so um, this smells... It smells kind of like, you know, like for those of you who have never tried Sunday Riley as well, it's like that weird herbal slash the like grassy smell. Yeah, it's not like the most fantastic mm -hmm. smell for people and apparently it does bother a lot of people and this is kind of like one of those products, but I'm okay with it. Maybe it's because I'm used to this whole Sunday Riley thing, so I'm definitely okay with this and I tend to use this to kind of just wake my skin up, especially if I'm studying or in front of the computer for a long time and mm -hmm. I feel like my skin is just going to dry out and I just give like three spritz of this and this is amazing it smells so good i mean when she gave it to me to smell like i already felt a bit energized too yeah it's like it, it's almost kind of like it's got a slightly cooling effect as well and generally i don't know about you but i found a direct correlation between if products don't smell the greatest they tend to work more for you because they're not they're not adding like fake stuff yeah. to make it make it likable for you in the, the part of your nose but they're actually putting ingredients in that would be good for your skin. Mm -hmm. So I usually, I try, I, I'm okay with things that don't smell the greatest but work for your skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is one of their like main things that they've had for like years. And I can tell you for a fact that because I've been to Shangri-La and they have a Claude Lee um, spa in Shangri-La, Toronto, and the entire spa smells like that as well. Oh wow. The spa just smells like the Beauty Elixir, <laughs> which is like, is it good and a bad thing there? I mm -hmm. mean, for those of people who aren't used to it, they're gonna find it strange, but I think it smells great. This visibly smooth features, tightens the appearance of pores, provides a burst of, a burst of radiance to the complexion. So this is really good. It's a 100% natural fragrance. So I would definitely really re recommend this if you can, you know, afford to spend a little bit for something like this. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. Moving on. So next is not much of a skincare, but more of a maintenance thing for your, for your. Well, I guess it can direct to skincare because you do need to take care of your brushes before your skin to be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Is um this Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner, and I gotta show this to you later because mm -hmm. this is amazing. But I wouldn't recommend you doing it often. You just you still gotta wash your brushes. But what it is, it's um a kind brush of like a quick fix. Yeah, right? a quick fix. A brush cleaner that you put your solution in here. You dip your brushes and all the makeup dirt will come off and you wipe it off in a, a towel. It's very effective and it smells like vanilla, which is really good. Yeah. Oh. So you're definitely gonna try that out. Maybe we'll have a video on brush cleaning so we can show this to you, but I'm really liking this. Oh wow. Yeah. That would be curious. The only thing I don't like is the pouring. It's not a, there's no spout or anything, so times that I do spill, spill a small amount, but that's like a small price. That's true. Mm -hmm. Um, something that I also want to talk about is just like a repurchase and because there was the 20% off so I decided to kind of go crazy. These are the Shiseido <laughs> facial cottons and I know you see this one package here but trust me I bought like four. <laughs> yeah I was like I you we go through these quite a bit and they are great. I mean I can even like when I have leftover sheet mask fluids I can actually put this dip one of these into the fluid. It'll soak up the fluid and I just I just like gently tear it into like two separate pieces and then I can just like mm -hmm. use it as a quick sheet mask. I mean, it sounds crazy to invest in designer facial pads. But trust me, these are exactly. different. These actually are different. I was skeptical because my mom has been using these since like I can remember mm -hmm. as a little girl. And I used to be like, why is this lady spending $11 on a bunch <laughs> of cotton? Like, is she gone like cuckoo or like what's happening? But now that I've discovered the, well not discovered these, but now mm -hmm. that I've actually given them a try, I can kind of see why they're so expensive. I mean, you don't, uh, I don't see why they're so expensive, but, well, sort of, but it's a higher quality. You don't get much fallout from cotton. 
And you know how like, sometimes when you have like your normal cotton balls, you have to pick out the little, little like, like threads of cotton yeah. that are stuck on? There is none with this. Mm -hmm. This is great and it's so gentle, um, yet it kind of somehow exfoliates just a tiny, tiny bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I am in love with these, so I've decided to like buy a whole bunch. Why not when they're on sale? <laughs> exactly. What, like what other chance am I going to get? So last one, it's not really much of a skincare again, but I just wanted to even it out because she has a lot of skincare. <laughs> it's something I've always been after and it's the My Burberry Signature Perfume. Mm -hmm. At first I figured maybe I should get the festive one because it's the time for it, but something about like having sparkles in it, I feel like it would just clog the whole spray by itself. Oh really? Well, oh, I, I never thought of it that way. And it also takes away some product because that's not perfume. That's <laughs> true. So I love it. This comes in, um, I'd like to say ebony. I don't know what this material is, but, but it's I very, see it's very often. nice. And, yeah, it's yeah. very nice and sturdy. It's kind of marble-like. It has um, jasmine notes. I don't know what else. <laughs> It smells like iris to me. Well, like a mixture of all. Yeah, no, like it mm -hmm. smells like it's got iris. It's a very in there. nice, um, feminine, sexy mm -hmm. uh, smell, and it lasts a while. The next mm -hmm. day, I'll still smell it on it. I was like, wow. That's the thing about so a, lot a lot of, of perfumes. Yeah, that's the thing yeah. about a lot of designer perfumes is they do have a quite a good lasting power usually. So I, I can see why. People tend to invest a little bit more in designer perfumes. Mm -hmm. So you are getting what you pay for. And yeah. Awesome. Okay, last thing we want to talk about for skincare is this product that I got a sample of and I was like, I need to go buy this. I need to go buy this. This is like fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah, she's been, but she's been talking about it for like months and it's like, okay, let's go buy it already. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, no, this is so expensive. I'm going to wait until I get a discount. Mm -hmm. And I finally did. Um, so this is the Tatcha like polish classic rice. <laughs> Classic rice enzyme powder and it's great because it does give you a little bit of a exfoliant But it's not the type that you would get where it speaks. It doesn't feel like that at all Literally just feels like rice powder that you would basically put like a teaspoon in your hands Add some water make some bubbles and you'll feel this like really fine like mist like Texture and then you'll just wash your face and your complexion is instantly clearer it's brighter, it's like more smooth, and it's more natural, I think, as an exfoliant for, for your sure. skin. Although, and I've got to say, I've never had a product like that, where it's like a powder form, I had to like mix it myself. And well, I know, I've known about this type of product for a long time, because apparently it's been very um, kind of popular in Japan, the whole rice enzyme thing, and I've heard about it a lot already, but I've never seen it in a North American brand yet. Mm -hmm. And if you watch their like kind of brand story, is it Japanese? No, it's actually like I think the girl is like the the lady who created the brand. Don't quote me on this. Is like from the <laughs> states, and then she had traveled to Kyoto, um, Japan, where um, they have a lot of geishas. And I don't know if you guys know, but geishas have like a full a face flawless, of, like, flawless yeah. skin, full face of makeup though, and like, so- Like super white. <laughs> yeah, so how they take care of it is very, very important. And apparently rice enzyme, they use rice water. Like when you wash your rice and then you cook it, they leave the water and then they use that mm -hmm. water to wash your My face. My mom was actually saying you can wash your face with like rice water. Yeah, um, a lot of people, a lot of old Asian people do that apparently. Mm -hmm. That's how they maintain their skin. And so she had taken those Japanese geisha ideas and then she had developed them into actual recipes for her skincare line. And that's how she came up with Tatcha. And so I, I, that's where the Japanese part comes from. Mm -hmm. But basically, if I can open this. Yeah, so <laughs> it's in here like this. You open it up. It's the packaging is so pretty too. Yeah. They use papyrus on every one of the information sheets too, yeah. which is expensive by the way. Because mm -hmm. so they have to like hand make that. It comes like this, and this is the papyrus she's talking about. It basically just comes in a package like this. And when you open it... Oh, it's so pretty. When you open it, you'll see that it looks like this. Now, it's not that you twist the lid and there's another like layer. It's literally you just plop this part open, and then you just pour a little bit in your hand. Okay. And then you add water with that. But this works so well. So for those of you who have sensitive skin, 
but still want to exfoliate because you have to. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely recommend this product. Okay, so that's it for the skincare portion of our Sephora <laughs> haul. And uh, please watch out for next week when you see our makeup section. Our report. insane makeup yes. section. We're gonna like buzz through that like quick. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. If you liked our video, please don't forget to be, give us a big thumbs up for likes. Subscribe to our channel and check out other videos. Mm -hmm. And we'll link that down below as well. Mm -hmm. So, see you next week. Bye.